Hi, everybody. Brian Bross from DallasCowboys.com. Welcome to Training Camp Live. Joined here by my buddy one last time, David Hillman. Let's do it, Brian. Seven on seven. What do you think? Uh, you, hey, can I see Devin Smith? He's like sort well, let's of go see he's blowing Smith. up out here. Absolutely. So, well, let's go around uh, yeah, this way. Yeah, let's watch that. Okay, yeah, let's cool. go to Devin Smith here. All right, just uh, we timed that really, really well. Dave, you were talking about Devin Smith, number 15. Is he out here? Right? He's probably not out here he right now. He's not on this particular one, That's I don't okay. believe. We can watch Tavon Austin and Michael Gallup instead. Yep. Looks like uh, Randall Cobb's taking a vet day. Amari Cooper's obviously still dealing with his foot. Tony Pollard right there, huh? Tony Pollard. Been pretty consistent camp. all camp, right? Really has. With he, catching the football and everything. doing everything they've asked him to do, right? Let's pick up catching the football, running the football. I'm interested to see how this carries over to the real football, yeah, because uh, it has been impressive in training camp, but well, it is plays, not the same. They got a nine plays the other day. They kind of they kind of gave him a vet game. They, no, they're treating him like you know the the big like, cheese. I'm right. interested. I'm fascinated. We got Tavon. We got Jamez Olawale. That's what I'm talking about. Ball gonna go come down the field a little bit. Oh, oh if, if that ball's coming back, I mean, you, if, if the route's coming back, you got to know it's number 13. Right? I'm going to say, well. How other, many times have we seen that route in camp? How many? That? I've, that's the fourth time I've seen it today. I think maybe Dak told him he wanted to work on it today because it's all he's been running. Right. But, yeah, no, he's he's excellent at it. I was going to say, you know, with maybe the exception of, like, Tyron Smith, I think Michael Gall has been the most consistent offensive player in camp this year. i tell you what, I like what you're talking about right there. Once again, kind of that two-back look, Dave. we got – you know, with, uh, yes. with Ola Wally, they're kind of treating him a little bit like a running back in this stuff. My man, Kellen Moore, is all about some 21 personnel, and I am here for it. And I bet I bet Ola Wally is going to go downfield during this drill, if I had to guess. He's you catch him on a swing up the he's, field? He's good for a swing or a, or a wheel route from time to time, and I, I love it. Use that athleticism. Absolutely. You talked about on the outside, though. It, clearing out the box. Clearing that box out. It's creating space. That's the whole idea. Oh, John Bay Johnson right there. A little high. Could have caught it. A little high. Yeah, he A little went bit up, of both. He went up the ladder to try and get it going against Donovan Alumba right there. Just could not not bring it down, though. You put that more on the throw or the, or the receiver? I'll tell I mean, you, the throw, the throw was not perfect by any means. throw was not great, but... For an inside route like that, you would hope he'd bring it down a little bit. Yeah, but, but if it hits both your hands, you know? Yeah. A little bit more that we've seen, Dave, that bunch formation. Now they're going to swing it across here. Oh, we're going to... Yo-yo the motion there. I like this. Yeah. Get these and, guys moving. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you get number 10 on a safety like that play was right there, that is a big, big play right there for Tavon Austin. You get him in space. Okay, we have this argument on our show on Talking Cowboys. It, Rob and I have it because Mickey's not going to argue with you about it. But yeah, sure. Tavon Austin, your fifth receiver on this team right now? Um, Fourth probably for me. Okay, well, I'm talking about Noah Brown being the fourth. Yeah, yeah, well, doing, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. flip him. Yeah, yeah. Tavon, Tavon Austin's on this team. Okay. Uh, I think he's your primary punt returner. I think he's looked great out here if he can stay healthy. Uh, you know, him and Tony Pollard kind of have a similar skill set, but Tony Pollard looks like he's going to run the ball a little bit more than we thought, so. And it's Cooper Rush and the backups in here yeah, now. We talked about Devin Smith. He's in there now. Hopefully yeah. they'll get him a ball on the outside here. He's I tell you what, Dave, he's done a great job with his adjustment. I mean, yeah. the ball going down the field, him tracking the ball, putting his hands up in the right spot. He's done a lot of really good things here the last couple of weeks. Kind of been able to carry some things over to that game the other night in San Francisco. Yeah. No, but and and Tavon, yeah, like I'm I'm convinced Tavon has a role here. Dude. Hopefully he can. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Hopefully he can stay healthy. Oh no, I've got him on the roster. I yeah. just didn't know if if you were thinking the same way. I am. Once again, it's Cooper Rush going to little play fake there. Ball to the Ooh, outside. Ryan Yurichek. How about that? Yeah, that's a that's, deep cut right there. That is a that is a, a that's first not, time on uh, training camp live. But I believe. you know what I love is even the backup fullbacks getting some love because Kellen Moore, he's here for it. Fullback hive. Yeah, fullback throw the ball to the fullback love. Yes, because you know why? Because. Jason Garrett talks all this big game, but, like, they don't even block with the fullback that much. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Jamez Olawale played 100 snaps last year. So, if you're going to have him on the roster, at least use him. Yep. Got, once again, two-back look. Motion across. We're going to go-yo it again. Reggie Davis in yep. motion there. Let's see that spacing. The spacing. Oh, there there's is. a guy, Dave. You made there's the call. There's the Buckeye himself. You made the call right there. Oh, he needs to get up, though. 
Come on, man. You're doing too well to get hurt. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Don't he's do that. Le- he's like he he knows it too. He's yeah, like, no, no way, yeah, they, no way. This is gonna slow me down. Yeah, you gotta get back in that huddle, man. When he's, you're an expendable. Uh, when you start this thing and then you give yourself a chance, you've got to find a way to make all these reps. He played great in the game, and he has care like he's had every day of practice this week for him has been good. Yeah, limping a little bit there. No, but he's a, he's a, he's ready to go. Okay. He's not worried about kind it. Kind of seeing why he was a second-round pick, though, David. Over the last uh, week, you yeah, really yeah, have. Yeah. Got to get inside. He's going to oh. – oh. Cooper wanted to go his yeah, way. He just didn't have fast enough. Yeah. Let it rip, Cooper. Yeah. We're trying to go viral here, and it's yeah. not going to happen if you're checking it down. All right, here we go. Coming down this way. We're going to probably maybe move down – move back a little bit. Moving it down to the red zone a little bit down here as we back up. Oh, this is why I love it, Dave. We get yeah. down here in this red zone, and when they start the, flinging that ball to the corner, and the field Scott shrinks. Purcell's getting right on the camera angle of it. Yeah, he's going to back over me, too, That's if okay. he's not careful. That's all right. Yeah, no, the camera's we'll more important than me. Yeah, we'll figure this thing out. But, uh, okay, now we're down in the red zone, David. And uh, Dak Prescott's had some pretty good days down here in the red zone, though. Yeah, yeah, he has. Uh, the practice stuff we, that we've seen. I like his poise down in this part of the field. Oh, there you go, John Bay Johnson. They connect that time. Yeah. I like it. Good job. See, I mean, the, the, I tell you what, the thing I was noticing about Michael Gallup, you know, we talk about uh, our Mari Cooper being an outstanding route runner. Yeah. I tell you what, this 13's developed into Man, a pretty d- darn good route runner himself. He is a technician. Yeah. He, he's, he's been awesome. I, uh, my expectations for him this season have risen considerably since we got out here. Over there, matched up on that side of the field with Jordan Lewis. There's Jamez going out wide. Jamez on yeah. Cheeto Awuzie. I'm yeah. not sure how I feel well, about they got that. Well, they've got what they wanted to tie it in. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to hit the tight end. He went for the spacing there with that. I thought he was going to throw it inside to Lucas, the tight end, number 80. But uh, he pulled it back and went underneath. So so many check downs, so little time. Yeah, you have no time for the check down. We're not, we're not going to get – look, we have a we have a video view, Mark, that we're trying to hit. Do we not? Exactly. And we, we need downfield so plays, We need right? touchdowns. Yeah. We need spectacular plays, one-handed catches. Well, you might get some here. We got uh, we got uh, Michael Gallup coming out here near side with Cheeto. Good matchup. Again, the motion's going to tell Dak Prescott what he's got coverage-wise. He knows he's got man. Oh, he pumped that thing. Oh, oh he's just got now. He's going to uh, eat it. Good coverage coming at us. There we go. Us. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. That's what we want. Yeah. Michael Gallup with the touchdown. Great throw by Dak. Obviously, I mean, you know. Yeah, the defensive backs are going. You better have the seven blocks of granite blocks. Yeah, if you're gonna in, run that in seven on seven, once you hit like four seconds, it's kind of unfair. But yeah. whatever, we'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. Nice job by Gallup finding space. Finding space in the end zone, though, and Dak able to – that mobility. You know, we talked about with Jason Garrett today yeah. about quarterbacks and throwing in the pocket or quarterbacks with mobility. And He looks good throwing that. on the run. He yeah. had a couple in team period earlier that yeah, were really sure nice. did. Sure did. Oh, here's that bunch formation. Let's see if they scatter this thing. When when they put when they put uh, Cobb in there, they have routes that come back underneath, and that's what they try. Oh, oh nice Layton. job, Leighton Vanderesh. I was gonna say I love watching uh, Tony Pollard motion out wide, but Leighton Vanderesh is up to the task. I tell you what, Leighton Vanderesh was right on that one right there. Good job by him getting over and making coverage. That, you talk about a guy that's got some length to him now, that Leighton Vanderish. You talk about a guy he's got who, some burst and length and all the things you want in a linebacker. He's he's the prototype. He's amazing. Dave, okay, we're looking at now, okay, 37 on the field there for your Dallas Cowboys. Donovan Wilson. Donovan Wilson. Okay, can he find a way to get on this football team right now? Yes, if he can – play well on special teams and he is can he unseat cave on Frazier if he can that's the route he, he's got to be as good he's got to be as good because I think Ty goes to the cheaper player right right and the player with more years on his deal yeah, and Mike that white that's Donovan Wilson Mike white oh couldn't quite put it there um if he's as good or better than cave on Frazier then yeah because I think yeah. I think you got Jeff Heath, you got Xavier Woods. I think Darian Thompson makes this team. Yeah, everybody's talking about Darian Thompson. Darian Thompson, I mean, you talk to the coaches, he's like the he's big buzz the, guy in the he's meetings the and stuff. He's the special teams ace slash uh, a veteran safety. He started 16 game for the Giants two right. years ago. Sure. So he's been there and done that. I think they trust him. We know how much trust matters to football coaches. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe too much trust. Sometimes, yeah. But then after Thompson, I think it's anybody's ball game. And, you know, like I said, if Wilson can play as well as those guys, he's got a shot. Ah, Corey McElroy. He's in position right there. Yeah. It, was, it was Justin Co- March that made the yeah. tackle. but 
Cody McElroy. All right, let me what? ask you. No, 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 no. I'm going to ask me I'm going to lead this. Okay, yeah. You. What did you tell me about him the other day? I, he's the most improved player I've seen from OTAs, mini camps. You said to today. it's like watching a different player it, just from two months yeah, ago. Yeah, when he when he was when he he's now put himself in a position to make a practice squad. That's impressive. I mean, and he's this is gone, a guy that didn't yeah, play a lot of football. He has gone from he has gone, and I'm not just talking about from the San Francisco game. I'm talking about what he has done in practice. He now is on the radar. Mike White got to throw that ball, Mike White. He had just let it rip. Yeah, let it rip, and he just won't do it. I mean, it's like he's just – there's something in his brain that will not let him throw the ball that fast, and that's a problem. He, it was a horrible pass. I mean, I wish we were filming it yesterday that he reads he reads right, he reads right, and he goes all the way back to the left, and what happens? Jordan Lewis intercepts the ball. Can't do that. Can't make that kind of mistake right there. That's that's but unfortunate. That's, that's unfortunate. I was a big Mike White fan, and I, I'd oh, like to believe you're, you're using the past tense now. I so. just, but you know what? I, I, I don't, I don't. This is not the same player to me. Not the same player. Uh, oh, nice play right there. There's your boy. There's your boy right there. Sports writer's curse, man. As yeah, soon as we bring him up, sports writer curse. That's okay. I'll tell you what, we were right on that. That was fun. I'm that glad was Powell. We got the uh, Powell yeah, Tyvis Powell. We got the Gallup touchdown in there. Yep, absolutely. Nice little period. All right. So, you've survived. You're the final well, one. I, you know, I'll give you the final word. How I, about that today? I, well, I take issue with surviving because, yeah. like, we're we're leaving the West Coast, right. but training camp goes on for like two and a half more weeks. Right. So, a lot of work left to do. We got to go to Hawaii. We got to yeah. go back to Texas. But that's okay because tramps like us, Brian. Baby, we were born to run. That's You're right. right about that. <laughs> that's right. All right, for my buddy David Hillman, I'm Brian Bros. Thanks again for joining us on Training Camp Live. We hope that when we get back to the star, we'll still be doing this. But I have a feeling this might be the final yeah, battle when, today. Yeah, when we go inside, it has a way <laughs> it has, of getting shut down. It has a way down, of disappearing. So, so anyway, we'll see. thanks, everybody out there for following us. Thanks to Scott Purcell for always filming us, making this thing look great. Thanks to everybody that produces us and helps us along. So uh, we'll see you next time for Training Camp Live.